good morning, everybody. Um, I, I assume these are our participation trophies? I knew it. Um, no expense, but hello, Martha Stitch. Hi, nice to see you, Laura. Um, Martha and I actually uh, met a number of years ago when we did, uh, I did a little silly video show with you, and the premise of the show was, I really wanted to be like you, and breaking news, I failed. You did? Terribly, yes, oh. terribly. But I want to give you a gift, gift because you are the original influencer, so I got you a Lumi. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. For mm -hmm. my selfies. You're welcome. See that? Yeah, yeah, that's you it. You all need that. You all need that. Yeah, it's in the back. Okay. Don't worry. And I'll move back. Can okay. I ever turn this off? There we go. Thank you. Anyway, how are we? Everybody good? Excellent. So, Ms. Stewart, firstly, I want to know, you were at the Super Bowl. I was. On the weekend. So, I guess the question facing the nation is, when the shirt came off, <laughs> what were your thoughts? <laughs> My thoughts went to Janet Jackson. Yes. And I think hers was a malfunction. His was definitely planned. Definitely planned. And I didn't like it. Yeah. Was there an audible gasp? It wasn't such a were? great body underneath. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I read the best thing on Twitter, which said his, his tattoos looked like, um, looked like the guy from Memento, except the mystery was where he left his jewel. Memento was exciting. I know. Yeah, those were the good days. So was there a good party? Did you uh, like... Oh, there were parties yeah? and, uh, and fun and... My, I, I was surprised at my Q rating in Atlanta, especially with the street, the street yeah. guys that were all out in the street cooking barbecue and stuff, real high, like 100%. Do you ever just go around <laughs> and And I think and that review? has to do with Snoop. I think that goes to do with Snoop. <laughs> Snoop is, what is the word to describe Snoop? Festive. Oh, yes. A festive chap. Did you see him down there? Uh, no, I did not. We oh. missed each other constantly, but I, I saw other people. And uh, did you stay out late? Oh, stayed out real late. Really? Yep, got up real early. Did you have a team? Oh yes, Did the best win? team. Yeah. Oh. The best team. Oh well, you of course you had back the best team. Have I wanted I wanted the young quarterback to win, just just you know for change. Yeah. But But um, he just didn't make it. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> <laughs> so Martha, I want to. I mean, we all uh, in this business uh, owe so much to you. Um, because I think number one, what you've always had, and I think we just underestimated, and I think Linda really touched on it as well, is you have to have a voice. You have to have something that you believe in that you communicate. You can't second guess yourself. Um, how did your authority, how did that build in you? And when did you go like, okay, not only do I know what I'm saying, I know that people are gonna buy into it. Uh, well, it really started with my first book, yeah. which was 1982, the book Entertaining. Uh, where I actually thought I found my voice. Um, and I was, I was writing about something that was very meaningful to me, which was home, mm -hmm. all about home, cooking, entertaining, family, garden. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I knew that not only I loved that subject matter, but pretty much every other woman that I knew liked that subject matter. Right. So uh, that's when I found my voice, and I thought, uh, it took about 10 years after that, or actually it was only about eight years, when I decided that maybe uh, the format of a magazine would be a better format right. for covering the, the gamut of subjects that I loved so much. And uh, that's, that's when uh, the Martha brand really started. Right. Do you ever, people think you never second guess yourself, do you? Oh yeah, every day. <laughs> <laughs> what was the last thing that you were like not so sure about? Uh, what to wear today. Oh. <laughs> I support so, your choices. Okay, thank you. I, yeah. try, I tried. I wore, I wore mostly Martha. Mostly Martha. It's so on brand. You can say this of this woman, actually so on brand. And we're going to sell some stuff later in the back. Um, actually, I want to know, what is, do you have anything resembling a typical day? Uh, no. My days are so exciting and so different yeah. each and every day. Um, I, and I can pretty much sort of dictate what I do in a day unless I right. have a, a predetermined schedule. But I love it when that I can get up and really, uh, especially on weekends, mm. not, not during the, the week, it's pretty scheduled minute to minute. But, but on the weekends, it's so great. I can get up and really do what I feel like doing. Right. And, um, and, it's, and, and even on scheduled days, I can pretty much do that if I fit the meetings in between. Are you an early bird? Oh, very. How early? Oh, early. Like really early, and um, I wait. I get up early to 
Uh, I'm now an addicted um, iPad user, yeah. so my newspapers and my my uh, all media is on the oh, you're iPad. In style, yeah, just all of your yeah, the iPad, magazines. the giant yeah. iPad that's yeah. in the bed with me. Yeah, and uh, sometimes the cat turns it on. You know. Oh, well, your cat would. Yes. <laughs> You'd be like cat, and the cat would but, go. Ding. So it's so it's uh, starts with it starts with uh, reading the headlines, of course, and and news stories that are interesting. And then goes on to getting up to let the dogs out and let the cats in and let the bird uncover the birds and and what about uh, the onto, zebra? The, onto the gym. Hmm? Onto the gym. So what time are you at the gym? gym? Uh, a trainer comes. So it's good to have a trainer. Uh, all of you. All of you. Yeah. Good to and have Martha's a trainer. And going to get all of you a trainer. She's why so else generous. would I walk, get dressed, and go outside my house down to the gym? I it's wouldn't. in another building. And you go to the gym, oh. and then you work out, and then you come back home, and then you hurry up and get into the car and go to work. And you're full of beans. Yeah. And then I was actually asking Martha, do you come often to the office, the Martha office? And she was like, no, they come to me. <laughs> so elegant. So tell me, you just, you just published the Martha Manual, How to Do Almost Everything, parenthesis. That's a good book. It's good. An, yeah, I it's a good book. It. And Tell uh, what's in it. it's a it's a good book, and it's a and it's a fun book, yeah. and people are responding very nicely to it. And the print run is growing, you know, each and every day. I'm so happy about it um, because it's uh, it reminds me of the old manuals mm. that we got when we were just married a long time ago. Not you, you know, you're you're too young I'm so to young. know about Thank that you. stuff. Yeah. But um, but it's it reminds me of that. But it's so up to date and so uh, so perfect for the millennials and uh, even the younger groups who, who don't know how to do anything. Yeah, anything. And, uh, <laughs> they don't. They can't even and get And they jobs. need to know what to, how to yeah. do stuff. And they're yeah. very receptive and they're very thankful for a book like this because really and truly it does help navigate through a day. What's your most ra like random but effective tip? Like is there like shelving? Oh, you can learn yeah. how to. You, know, you can you can learn how to organize, of course. Yeah. And it's not it's not about finding joy as much as it's finding yeah. space. And, yeah, but don't uh, you think? What is your what's your point of view on that? Are you like space I, I'm is not joy? A I'm not a I'm not a, I'm not a somebody who just discards to discard. Yeah. I, I'm actually someone who um, who makes makes choices. I like to collect. So right. if you're a collector. Um, it's not so great to discard. <laughs> no, it um, defeats the purpose. But you don't have to be a hoarder. I'm not a hoarder. No. Not but exactly. what was the thing that you, you either recently acquired or recently discarded that gave you joy? Um, well, I move things ah. from one place to another. Oh, yeah. Do you sit there watching the television and then move a ceramic? I do that. No, no, and I don't mean that. I mean oh. really move it to someplace else. That, like that, another that, house? That's, yeah. Oh, well, I don't think you do that. Okay. <laughs> I was like thinking it was like one bottle from a coffee table to the clothes. Table. Oh, clothes! I, I yeah. finally discovered the ceiling rods. Oh. So like you can put. I found. It took a long time to find the right um, the right hangers for the steel rods that you can put into the studs in the ceiling, and then you have rods up high, so you can hang long things and shorter things, and and uh, and it's made a huge difference. So no racks on the floor. You don't have to oh. dust underneath stuff. It's very Are you climbing up there doing that, getting that? Well, it's not that you high. People? You know, you put it. All right. What people? People that get no things people. for you. No. You've got people. Um, so tell me, so what's your next, what's going to be the 94th book? Uh, then, oh, that's already, it's already oh. published. It's grilling. It's a very nice grilling book. Oh. Uh, teaching. And I'm not, I, I start my introduction in the book saying that I wasn't really much of a griller because I really don't like smoky food. Right. And um, and yet, um, when you learn how to grill really well, your food can taste them as delectable as can be yeah. without any smoke. And uh, smoke. you can be smoky or not smoky. We learned I've that. I've always said that. Cl climbing up Kilimanjaro, all the oh the, yes, the, they cook everything's in smoke. Everything's smoky. And I and I just told them if you just cover it you don't get smoke in did you food. tell them up on Kilimanjaro oh yeah I, did I, you go hey I, excuse me I cooked the chicken soup and uh, showed the Who porter did you tell the showed the porter it's the reporters up there they're oh. not Sherpas um, that's that's <laughs> that's the Himalayas oh um, sorry um, so you uh, so you actually cover the pot of chicken soup and they all and it was delicious and they all drank it and ate it you know they ate everything because uh, and I made them crepe Suzette Hang on, so they climbed up there, but that, that, that didn't really rate because the end of the day the chicken soup was better. Mm -hmm. They right. were very happy. I would expect that would be true. Tell me, so for the 100th book, I heard a rumor that this could potentially be an autobiography? Yeah, I'm, tr I'm planning it to be, um, and it would be fun. Um, I have vast archives of stuff from the last uh, how many years, my life, um, that I've been saving yeah. and um, starting to think about it. 
Uh, I write by thinking first, of course. Mm. I, probably most authors do, I don't know, but I don't sit Sometimes. down and write. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think about it a long time before I write, even my monthly column. Right. And, um, and it's, uh, it's a fun project to think about writing an autobiography. I'm not ready for it yet, yeah. so by the time the 100th, maybe I'll be ready. And do you have a good memory? Oh, very good. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah, very good. Um, and do you, are you going to just like right sit now. down and Who go? knows if it's, it'll stay. You, no, you never know. But do you want to go? Do <laughs> you get the laptop out? Um, where would you, I mean, yeah, when you write, do you begin from the beginning or just a memory that floods through everything? Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's all there. Yeah. It's all fomenting in the brain. So there's your rich and full and brilliant life, but there's also the third season of Martha and Stoops pot, Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party. Yeah, and, we, and we're making it this year a little bit more competitive. Okay, because, go on. Well, it turns out that all these competition shows are even more popular than just a potluck sit-down dinner party. No one can just socialize anymore. <clears throat> no, you, you have to win. compete. You have to do all this stuff. So we started it on. Uh, we started at the Super Bowl. Did you see the little MarthaStewart.com on the on the? Uh, yes. On the ad at the last yeah, ad yeah. in the busiest the last part of the ad game. I oh, passed boy. out by then. Oh, you dad? Oh yeah. no. I was in the last ad for oh. T Mobile. Oh, I see. And they, uh, oh, they, they, they asked yeah. if they could use our, our, our website and our recipe right. for eggplant parmesan. Oh. oh, it was very good. And I, oh, that's what I was calling my editor about. Elizabeth, oh. did we get a lot of, a lot of uh, hits on our eggplant parmesan recipe after the Super Bowl? Did we? You didn't fill me in on it. Did we? <laughs> I want to know. I, I want to know how it. many. You yeah. have to ask Angelique, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, the first meeting. I mean, the, the frisson between you and Snoop is 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 famous. But when did you? You obviously got on well. But when were you just like? Was it whose idea was it to do the show in the first place? Oh, some clever, clever person. CAA person, right? You know, they saw us on. They saw us on the Justin Bieber roast. Oh yes, and, and that was the fun. immortal. Yeah, and I and yeah. he and I were sitting even closer than this, and he was really? sitting with his um, his famous. You know that thing he held accessory. It his, yeah, his, yeah. The, the constant, he's, he's the loomy. constant accessory, yeah. and we were just, just happy as could be for four hours, <laughs> and uh, and so they they and we and we did well on the roast. Right. So I think they they saw that there was a chemistry. And when the first taping, were you immediately just like, did he kind of was he kind of obedient to you or? Oh, he was very um, not obedient. But he was, was he like? He was very um, accommodating. Right. <laughs> he, I, I didn't know what he was talking about most of the time, but um, <laughs> but we've we've gotten to understand each other, and uh, and really it is a, a it is a melding of culture. Right. And and I think that that's appealing to a lot of people. I mean, there are a lot of different people watching that show now, and uh, to go into a third season and and still have fun and still um, come up with very creative ideas is, is interesting. What have you learned from him? Um, oh, I've learned several things. Um, <laughs> I've learned how to uh, move a little bit better. Oh. Yeah, and I've learned um, all did you about- Did he give you the shoulder? And I've learned all about cannabis. <laughs> and I've learned- I think um, I said cannibals, Cannib yes, <laughs> all about it. And I've learned um, about, um, oh, his, his method of cooking. Which and he stirs yeah. a lot. He likes to stir. Yeah, he I'm like, sure he spends like yeah. two hours yeah. just stirring. He does. He stirs a lot. Okay. So and uh, and he loves sports. So it's uh, it's, and I went to visit his compound, which is very interesting. <gasps> the uh, crib? Very very few people have compounds like this. Well, you Full have size a compound. Well, not like this. I don't oh. have a basketball court and a, not yet. And a green screen room is bigger than this auditorium where he does his dance oh, stuff. Oh, did you feel like a, you know? Were you like I need that? Yeah, I need all of it. I want all of it. Yeah, you need to hurry. <laughs> no, you have a lot to do, and you're already busy. Okay, tell me about fashion. You have a clothing line at QVC, shoes at Payless, and aerosols. Well, here, oh. these are my aerosol shoes, which oh. I love. Love a good And this is, my, this is one of my blouses from QVC. And do you have to go, do you go on QVC a lot? I go about twice a month. To do this? I go twice a month. No, yeah. it's, more, it's more selling. Yeah. It's more showing selling. And um, it's kind of fun because really QVC is uh, one of three ways to sell things right. in, in the United States right now. It's, it's QVC on TV, mm -hmm. edu educating the public about what each item is. Then there's, of course, Amazon. And right. then there's, of course, uh, the, um, the retail stores. So there's that, yeah. those are the ways to sell. Three prongs. And I like to be, I like to be um, knowledgeable about all of them because if you have product, you might as well sell them on all different in all different ways. What's the most recent like uh, product you've launched that you've been so most proud of or been surprised um, by the popularity? Well, the uh, 
these these shoes mm -hmm. are doing really well. These shoes, guys, if you don't buy them. Aerosols. Mm -hmm. Aerosols, which are comfortable shoes. Yeah. I, I had never worn aerosols before, and uh, and they are very comfortable. They're well constructed. And why spend you know seven hundred dollars for shoes that look like this when you can spend a hundred dollars? I'm a I'm a big um, believer in um, affordable, good quality. Yeah. I have your sheets. I'm excellent. Mm, I think of you whenever I'm in bed. Thank you. Mm. You're welcome. So tell me about so Martha Stewart Living was on the NH Hot List and uh, and con continues to do yes. so so well. What is, I, mean, I really love listening to, to Linda talking about, because um, it's so boring hearing all this, this chat about, ooh, it's all doom and gloom. What is the most exciting thing to you about magazine media right now generally and with what you guys are doing? Well, the, the extension into all other forms of media mm. for a magazine uh, is very important. Uh, and I totally agree with you about that. Uh, it makes it more complex. Mm. Uh, it certainly um, keeps your audience. We've had a very loyal audience for Martha Stewart Living Magazine for a long time. And, uh, and during the entire time, our, our rate base has, maintain, has been maintained at a, at a really um, good size. Mm. But it is difficult. Uh, we have to now persuade our ad advertisers that it is right. still a viable place to uh, learn and, and see. I, I give that magazine, I sit my six and seven year old grandchildren down with the magazine and they look through it page by page intently. And I mean, they're not forced to do it. They like it. <laughs> uh, they sure. like it. <laughs> and they pay a lot of attention to the ads. Right. They really do. Yeah. Elizabeth, the editorial has to be pumped up some more. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're looking at ads. Yeah. And they're interested. And uh, so that tells me something. You know, if, if that age is paying attention to ads, mm. we, are all, we all are. We're looking. We're looking at everything. Well, I mean, isn't there, there is still the power of a great visual. And I think people forget that. And they also, oh, you don't want to be scrolling all day long. You want to stop sometimes. Well, I hope so. Yeah, and that's the, what do you, what would be your advice for editors and magazine staffs in terms of, of, of storytelling and... and well, uh, the vibrancy, originality, uh, colorfulness, um, uh, just uh, something that you haven't seen before, mm. uh, all of those things. And, and editors are thinking about that all the time. What, uh, who, who can we, a celebrity, of course, the people love celebrity. Heard of it. Uh, yeah, yeah you, you and your magazine, is, uh, you're right there with all the celebrities and, and what, what are they wearing, what are they doing. Uh, it's all very important and that's what's catching the eyeballs. Mm. That's what, and Instagram has, uh, has really shown us that people really want to know what's going on minute to minute, right. in, especially in celebrities' lives. Um, and um, I, I, I'm, so, I'm sad sometimes because, uh, you know, how to plant a tree and how to uh, cook, a, cook a stew, you know, those are very interesting to me, but it's yeah. not as interesting as what is Kim Kardashian putting on her, on her, on her booty. On, yeah, <laughs> on any part, just any part of the body. And, and uh, what, was your, what was the first thing you posted on Instagram? When did you join Instagram? Oh, early on, Yeah. early on. Was I, it food? Um, I'm, I'm sure yeah. it was food and, and garden and flowers and whatever. Who do you follow? On Instagram, who are your oh, favorites? I, have, I, I follow maybe 450 thing, things, people. Um, but it's mostly uh, subjects that interest me, garden and food and uh, a few celebrities. But, um, but it's, um, I, 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 don't, I don't spend a lot of time on Instagram. You know, just scrolling I, all day. I don't have time to sit there all day. I'd, I'd actually rather read something or, or uh, study something. Who would be the most random person, you, most surprising person you follow? Most surprising. Um, hmm. Any secret shames in there? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not at all. Um, what? Because um, I think actually a magazine. Instagram is a magazine. You know, the term magazine is actually a more modern term than people say. You know what I mean? It's a magazine. Oh, it's of your definitely. Life. It's right. definitely a magazine. Uh, but I post mm. uh, because um, I get response, and I do it. I, I also sometimes try to shock. Yeah. Uh, with the Instagram, I try Ooh. to get attention with the Instagram. Um, I try to promote with the Instagram because, like, I went to a uh, down down in Atlanta. We went to a barbecue restaurant that I had seen um, promoted on CBS that on Saturday morning. Right. So I wrote it and wrote down the name. It's uh, C Crackle B Cracklins. And, <laughs> Say that uh, again. B Cracklins. B Cracklins. <laughs> and so we found where B. Cracklin was. I called yeah. him up. I asked him if he was going to be there on Sunday for lunch, and he was going to be there. 
at his restaurant, and it's way out in, you know, in the outskirts of Atlanta. We all went, 10 of us went. We had the best lunch. Do you think of performance and anxiety knowing you're turning up? No, no, no. He's making his, he's making his ribs and yeah. his chicken, and you know, the wings were really good. And uh, so we, we ate there. We were all very happy, and I, I, that was my offering to the group, that, right. that they could sit down to a nice casual meal before the game. Before the game. Yeah. Did you bring any of your wine in a box? Uh, no, I didn't take anything with me. But so it's not boxed there. wine. But that it's is, wine in it's a box. Not bo no, it's not boxed. Oh, it's not boxed wine. wine? No, it's bottles I'm not of interested. wine in a box. <laughs> <laughs> That's curated wine. Those are these are just. I just brought those because um, it's just extension of brand. Um, uh, we curate these wines yeah. and we uh, we sell them on online. Yeah. So you can have them delivered, so you don't have to go to the wine store and lug them home. Especially when you're in an urban area or if you're in, the, in somewhere where you don't have a good wine store, you can trust the wines that you get in the box. Do you review them personally? Oh, definitely. How I often? Do. Uh, about <laughs> twice a week, we taste. How early in the morning? <laughs> we taste a lot of wines, and I've I've made it clear to uh, Thomas Joseph, who's my who he, he and I taste them together. And right. we, have, we have very similar tastes. Um, it has to be after 5 o'clock in the uh, afternoon. 5.01? Yes, it has yeah. to be, because you can't do that during the day. When did you launch these? Um, oh, a couple years ago. Okay. And it's doing very, very well. People really uh, enjoy um, the wines. Again, affordable wines. Yeah. Good price, uh, delicious wines, and we also tell you how to pair them, what to drink them with. So it's a, it's a, a service. God, I have so much to learn from you. I'm about to get married. I heard. Well, not about, in a, way, in a bit. What's the, what's the best advice? Why, like, why not right now? Because I've got people and I've got a job. I know, but you can still things. get married. Yeah. I mean, you're, you know, mm. you're, you could get married. You're, you're of the age. I'm so... <laughs> like, past the age? <laughs> I'm past the age. I've expired. Um, what, uh, what is the first bit of advice you give to people? People must come up to you and say, I'm going to get married. How, what do you think? I think it's exciting. Yeah. And of course, having started one of the most popular wedding magazines, Martha Stewart Weddings, I, uh, I am very excited for people when they say they're going to get married. And yeah. can we help you in any way? Uh, can we put you on our cover with your, with your very handsome boyfriend, fiance, husband yes. to be? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. You're on if, the spot. If you can come, where can, are you, where, can you marry where do you think us? you're going to be on the cover of, of In Style? Or oh, on yeah, Martha that would love wedding? that. Yeah. Th that magazine's got are you having me. A, are you having a destination wedding? I'm not sure. We'll no. discuss. Okay. I mean, you might need to marry us. Are you licensed? <laughs> no, but oh. I could. Okay, I could you get got time. There. Yeah, you could, I could get to be justice. Of the There's case. still time. So tell me this. What mag I mean, I want to know, because all these people here make magazines. What magazines do you read? Um, I read The Economist. Mm -hmm. I read National Geographic, my favorite. Mm, me too. Uh, it's always been. Um, I, was, I was telling the editor that um, how... how how, for how long we've been reading it. My mom was such a, a fan of National Geographic and she yeah. gave each of her children. The yellow, you know, yes. it's gorgeous. Oh, no. and, and, the, yeah. and the wonderful um, imagery as well. And I, I really modeled Martha Stewart living on National Geographic. Ah. It's funny because, uh, because I, I thought the captions have to be as clear as they are at National Geographic. Yep. The pictures have to be as, uh, as beautiful and as evocative. And, um, and just on a different subject matter, mm. of course. Mm. But um, I, I love that magazine. Um, I read the fashion magazines. Mm -hmm. um, I read, well, now I'm reading People Online. Right. Um, looking at it online. I don't read it every page, but I, I look at it. Um, I read my competition, Better Homes and... Oh, uh, yes. yes. And um, I'm always looking at the competition to Martha Stewart Living. Yeah, good. Um, and, Can they uh, feel it when you're looking at them? Uh, I After don't know, the New Yorker. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> yes, oh yeah. Are you in the audience? Yeah, oh, there, there he is. <laughs> He's all a quiver. <laughs> yeah, but a, a healthy diet of magazines is a good diet. I, I have a big stack on my, on my yeah. table, yes. And we share, I share them with, um, with people who work in my home. Everybody's, everybody, they're all laid out and everybody looks at them. Okay, can you put the install on top? Oh, I will. Thank you. Okay. Um, so tell me, just a few little, little last like lightning round questions. What's your What's your favorite fashion designer? Do you have one? Um, well, I just met Virgil Abloh. Do you oh. know Virgil? I love him. Virgil does off white, and now he designs Louis Vuitton men's, yeah. and he collaborates with everybody. You should. Uh, Nick for Snoopstro. Do something. Yeah. Are you gonna do something? I've invited him to come on the show. Yeah. Yeah. He probably is dressed in Snoop already. Probably. Yeah. 
I don't know. What would but, you do um, with him? But I don't know yet. Mm. We, we have, we, you know, it, anything goes on that show, yeah. so it's it's fun. <laughs> but um, in terms of design, I like um, I, I I like really expensive clothes, and Go then on. I like. And I like uh, like with Hermes and yeah. and uh, I like um, I, I can't fit into Chanel very well, so I don't wear Chanel. But I like um, Hermes very much, and um, and I save every piece. Mm. But then um, but then what I'm designing is um, is relatable. Yeah. To, and it, and can be mixed. I'm I mean, Jackie today's Hermes, and I'm wearing it with Martha. This is Martha. I know. QVC. How and much it's is that really retail nice. for? Like thirty nine dollars. But it's so pretty, you know. And no, it's silky. She feels nice. Don't think that's weird, <laughs> but she does. Um, tell me, so heels or flats? You're a big wedge wearer, right? Yeah, I like yeah. I like high heels. I like flat shoes. I don't like flat shoes too much. I like um, I like boots. I like uh, I like shoes a lot. And you're pretty social, right? You go out a decent amount. Oh, like every night. Every night. Well, because I commute f to the farm yeah. every day, and uh, and you cannot leave New York City if you leave before. 3.30 in the afternoon, and who, who has a full-time job that leaves at 3.30 in the afternoon? Not so hard. you have to leave after dinner right. to get home in, in a decent amount of time. What's your favorite restaurant? Um, hmm. You can't say that. Hmm. Well, what's one that you've enjoyed recently? Oh, yeah. Last <laughs> night I went to Bernadette, and it was delicious. Very good. Yeah, we ate in the bar, right. so, which is less formal, yeah. and, but the food is the same, and oh, it was utterly delicious. What, um, what's the last TV show you binge-watched? Oh, um, oh! I'm watching it now, um, but I never remember the names. Of course, <laughs> it's the one about Africa, about the Hutus and the Tutsis. It's a very oh, it's a very the Earth Down Under. Oh yes, like yes, that. yes, it's yes. It's horrible yes. and it's and it's historical and it's interesting and well acted. Yeah. And scary. Do you when you when you're doing nothing? Do you really do nothing, or are you like always? Oh, I'm never or, doing nothing. But like, do you want, do you ever like just how often do you, how many hours do you sleep? Very little, because I'm binge watching. Because <laughs> you're binge watching. Because <laughs> I'm like making a coffee and binge watching. Um, okay, if you could have lunch with anybody, dead or alive, who would it be? Um, hmm. Anybody. Well, like right now, I guess yeah. I'd, I. I really like to have lunch with our president. I'd like to give him a piece oh, of my mind. You were bringing him up, good, because I. <laughs> go on, because I was told I couldn't. But here we go. What would Just you, what think. Would you, I mean, can you imagine? What would you tell? First, I'd like to know what he's eating because he shouldn't be eating it. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then I'd like to know what, what you know, oh, it would be so much fun. Hey, that I would mean, be fun. I Just want, think how fun it would be. I would be like, how are your arteries? I'm not going to ask him questions like that. What but would you ask him? A lot of, I have a lot of things. I don't want to get into politics. Not you here. started it. Well, no, you started you it. You asked know. me who I wanted to have lunch with. <laughs> um, but you could be like, let me modify your diet, because that might, that might fix lots of things. His, I'm sure his wife is on his case, if she cares. I don't know. <laughs> a jacket said she didn't, but God bless. <laughs> um, so anyway, but thank you so much for, for coming today. Honestly, we have so much to learn from you. Um, any last statements to these NPA members about how to f push on? Well, I'm I'm not here to to encourage us. I'm here to be part of it, and uh, and to um, and to make sure that uh, the printed word is uh, is as good as it as as always has been. Mm -hmm. uh, that we continue to keep our magazines looking as uh, fantastically vibrant as they have been, and I think I think we're I think we're all doing a good job. Mm -hmm. I think that we have to um, adapt. Right, and I and as an early adapter of all things digital and and uh, technological, I think we just have to continue to do that. And you never know what it, what else is coming, but you should keep your eyes open and know, and uh, and work within it because yeah. you can't avoid it. Well, you have a three hundred and sixty degrees of a way to tell a story now. That's exciting. It is. You know, it's not just the page; it's on your on your and, phone and, and to everywhere me, else. It's you have the to original it. synergy that yeah. when I started the magazine, I, I remember clearly saying to Time, yeah. uh, who was my first publisher. It's so right. funny but, that we're, we're now right. we're now with Time still the circle of life, a circle of life mm -hmm. indeed. Um, with now with Meredith, um, it's so funny that um, that. When I mentioned the word synergy, it was a dirty word. Right. And now, if you don't, if you don't believe in synergy, uh, and and uh, and integrating your your information into um, everything from mm -hmm. TV and and digital and uh, online and here and there and everywhere, uh, you just can't survive. So yeah. it's uh, it's uh, it is synergy. And look, we're synergizing all these different publishers in the room today. So we are practicing what you preach, as we must do every day. 
Thank you. So thank you so much, Thank you Marissa. for having me. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.